Roberto, 71 Bluff Avenue. Something a little interesting on here tonight. Given the point been here to a flood and erosion control board. Flood and erosion control board. Not commission. Very hard to appoint a commission when it doesn't exist. So this must be the first member because I was reduced to what they call the Building Oversight Committee uh, years back when I asked for the Flood and Erosion Control Commission. Apparently it's still in the charter but it was defunct by the board administration. Right? because it was just one more stage of nonsense they thought people had to go through to get stuff approved. I crawled through numerous pipes here, more swamps, cleaned up with Gail Burns and numerous other people, Tracy Morrissey and a bunch of others and clean up over the years. I have uh, done everything possible, all right, sitting on the high school building committee when we realized that the high school is being built in a floodplain. And anything that I could do in my free time as a volunteer to assist with numerous flooding problems in the city. Uh, I didn't get a phone call. I guess uh, apparently merit means nothing. It's, uh, I should have been put it on in the first place, but you know what happened? I found something stuck in a tidal gate at the worst flooding stage in the history of the state of Connecticut. And apparently, I told too many people that a picnic bench was stuck in the floodgate in the cold river. And it'd be a smart idea to get it out of there before the water backs up in the highest tide on record. And uh, my wings were clipped because I got a big mouth. So it's reduced to the building oversight committee to be put under their restraint. I have done, I could not count how many useless hours of that I have wasted of my time on this flood control board that was reduced to the building oversight committee. I sat in the office with DDP, with the mayor, Gail Burns, and numerous other people. And the bottom line is, as it is for most commissioners who quit in this city, if you have a brilliant idea, it's great. But we got no money. There's no money. So whoever this person is, I wish him a lot of luck. You're going to need it because I guarantee you there's no money and nothing will be done. And it should be a very important job. And I should expect a phone call letter from the mayor saying that he was reinstituting the board at a time when, especially me as an advocate who spent hundreds of hours trying to stop an LNG platform from being built in Long Island Sound because no engineers in the federal level or state level even took interest in global warming. And with the hurricanes that have hit us in the last year, right, we should realize that we should have something uh, in effect. It doesn't make any sense not to. Right? So uh, I'm in favor of reinstituting the Flood and Rosen Commission. Right? But, uh, I'm very disappointed I didn't get a phone call. Thank you. Gary, thank you for your input. <clears throat>